children all over the world they love sweet things they love sugar talking about chocolate biscuit milk and others and i believe every country has this our sweet things available for their children exception of north korea i don't know if north korea has it or not uh that man that dictator i'm not sure he'll care about our other children all right so for this uh, episode i'll be talking about the kind of biscuits that we have available in nigeria how the quality of this biscuit has changed over the years and also the inflation that is also affecting them with this biscuit that i'll be showing you today i believe there are these biscuits are not present in western world i believe that but if you send a biscuit that is uh, present in western world that you've seen before over there please let me know in the comment section below i'll be very very glad the only one that i know of that have been sent to me before i've received so many biscuits is oreo or you have all your western world also have all your right here now this biscuit that i'll be showing for this video they are the cheap ones that are easily affordable by an average engineer it's just those very very expensive ones they are in the mall very very expensive the one is just for the five percent of nigerians but this one is for majority of nigerians so those are the kind of biscuit that i'll be looking at and this video right here is inspired by one of the mr mike atomic stream video so Thank you so much, Mr. Mike, for the inspiration. All right, if I'll continue the video, I'm Baba Tony. Welcome to my channel, Africa Every Day. Spare thanks to my patron for supporting my channel. Thank you so much for your support. I'm very, very grateful. Without your support, all this will not be possible. I'm grateful to you guys. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. And for those of you that bought me a cup of coffees, thank you so much. I love coffees too. This is my coffee. I drink it in the morning. You see, Nescafe coffee. So thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it from the deepest part of my heart. Thank you. All right, let's delve into the video. All right, uh, point to note. I'll be mentioning the price of this biscuit and I'll, I'm, I'll be using Naira. So you don't, you don't need to bother about the conversion of the Naira to dollar. Just look at the value of the Naira. For example, now from five Naira to 10 Naira. Because uh, one cent is more than one naira, so I don't like that. As you have uh, sent in our uh, in United States, we have cobble right here in Nigeria. So I'm not going to be converting it because it will be too small to convert it to dollar. A uh, uh, dollar now is now 467 naira in Nigeria. You know, so imagine me converting 10 naira or 20 naira to dollar. So that would, that would just be our uh, cent conversion. All right. Right here we have Costa Biscuit. This biscuit right here is one of the oldest and the cheapest biscuits so far. When we were growing up, this number of biscuit number of biscuits inside this one used to be 12. Yes. And that is it is not sweet. It is not sweet, but because of the high number of biscuits inside the packet, we love buying it whenever we are broke and want to eat something. But now has reduced to five in fact the weight the weight the uh, uh the height of the each biscuit was even bigger than this and uh, when we were, were small this one was available for for five naira but now i did sold for 20 naira you know sold for 20 naira and now uh, the taste ah. This is not different. It's not different from what we had about 20 years ago. Still the same thing. Alright, we have Palaji. We have Palaji. World's largest selling biscuit. Alright. When we're growing up, we didn't have this one was not available in the town that I grew up, so we never had this. When I became a teenager, that was when this was introduced. But uh, we don't really like this biscuit because um, it is too sweet. The sugar in it is just too much. And now, uh, in Western world, let me say in advanced countries, you worry about sugar simply because of the calorie that is available in a, in a food. The high number of sugar will determine the high number of calories, the quantity of the sugar. But here in Nigeria, we don't look at calorie. What we believe, I'm not sure if it is scientifically proven, 
is that uh, too much of sugar will call uh, hemorrhoid. To call hemorrhoid and pile. You know pile I'm talking about. So that's why we believe that if you eat too much sugar, you'll have pile, hemorrhoid and constipation. I don't know, I've researched on the internet. I don't seem to see any correlation between hemorrhoid and now uh, sugar. But it's firmly believed in Nigeria. All right, so for the palaginia, so when, when we were growing up, we didn't have this. As this one, as this one is hundred naira. It's hundred naira, and believe me, it is. It is very, very sweet, and my daughter loves it. My daughter loves it. In case you are wondering, what am I going to do with all these biscuits that I'm on? I'm opening. If you listen carefully in the background, you see some children playing around. So I'm going to distribute this biscuit to the children when I'm done with this. We have a cracker. It's also one of the oldest biscuits available. We have how many prisons here? We have three. And this one is available for 20 naira. Back then it was 5 naira. And now it's available for 20 naira it has very small quantity of sugar inside so a lot they prefer eating this because of the small quantity of sugar inside it crunchy delight this one is fairly new but i've never eaten this biscuit food before i thought it digestive no, I just see us this, uh, this, the same package and also from Yale. Also from Yale. When we're growing up, whenever we see this, we pronounce this as Yale. You know, we use Yoruba intonation to pronounce it Yale. Never need to pronounce as Yale. All right. So, I've never eaten this biscuit before. I want to try it. Oh, do not. I don't like donuts. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> mm. uh, apologies for the background noise. My uh, my room, my window is facing uh, the street, so Okada is moving here and there, here and there. That's why that's the cause of the noise. As far as the taste is concerned, it tastes strangely. So I want to know. I want to look at the the ingredient. The ingredient now. Soya. I don't know soya. Can you say this? Mm -hmm. Flour, sugar, vegetable, less than leavening agent, sodium bicarbonate, ammonium, carbonate, adoniferous substance. Yes, I believe that this is what give it. And this is what gives it uh, that strange taste. This is uh, a very substance. It's not common in biscuit. I don't know. Or cardamom. It is not common. It is the one that gives this biscuit a uh, strange taste like uh, like ginger. It is like ginger taste. Love. I have not eaten this before. This one is a brand new to me. This one is also available for hundred naira. Many children, many children will not be able to afford it. Very sweet. Now this one, Speedy, chocolate Speedy, is an icon of biscuit in Nigeria. It's an icon of biscuit. When we were growing up, this is one of the classic biscuits that we have. It has a lot of history behind it when we were growing up. In fact, we used to eat this biscuit for competition back then when we were growing up. For competition days. So, it's a special, it's a special biscuit that holds a special place in my heart. We have the chocolate one and we also have the milk one. But where I bought this, the milk one is not available. And now it, it pains me. So, this is the chocolate one. What? 
just as I, uh, I expected, the quality has decreased almost by 80%. I can't taste any chocolate in this biscuit anymore. No taste of chocolate in this. It's just like painting uh, the biscuit chocolate. Back then, we used to taste chocolate in it. But now, the quality is reduced to almost 20%. No chocolate taste again. No wonder people don't buy it anymore. People don't buy this anymore. Who will buy this? The quality is too vastly reduced. Okay, apology. Pepper snack, yes. Pepper snack and speedy. They belong to the same group, to the same class. This one is spicy. Yes, spicy. Children, we didn't really like it back then. But our young adults, they love this because it doesn't contain much sugar, so they love it. It's very, very spicy. Let me see if the taste has I'll change. The quality. Same thing with this one. Same thing with this one. The quality has reduced drastically. This one, the quality, they'll decrease is almost 70%. Not tasty as it used to be. The quality of things, food, materials, they are decreasing in Nigeria almost every day. And the worst thing is that the price, the price is increasing. The quality of the materials are decreasing while the price are increasing. This is brand new. Brand new. Wow. I don't like the taste. Fragrant chicken. It tastes very horrible. It tastes very bad. So we have all milk. For the all milk, the ingredient for the all milk. Oh man, that's where it is out. That's the ceiling part. The ingredient is can find the ingredient. No, I can't find it. Then the malt. This is also a brand new one. It's also a brand new one. Don't let me open it. Then cracker, cream cracker. This does not contain sugar at all. So I love eating this as an adult. I love eating this. But children, they don't like this biscuit. Why? Because it does not contain uh, sugar. So I love eating. In fact, during the naming ceremony of my of my son, this is the biscuit that I distributed. I had no money to cook food, so I distributed this cream cracker. And those who love me, they enjoyed it. Shortbread. This one also came late. My daughter loved this. In fact, I bought two packets. I bought three packets. She has eaten two. Now look at that. It sold for 50 naira. Short bread. Yes, I love eating it too. Too sweet. Very sweet. We have good day biscuit. Oh, I forgot to show you where all these biscuits are made from. That's the distribution. Where they are made from is not shown. But, but uh, they are made in Nigeria. I'm uh, fairly sure. The ingredients will come from outside. But they are baked in Nigeria. But the ingredient will come from outside, usually from uh, from Indian. It's not written. Let me see if we could have anyone that where it is manufactured can be seen on the packet. All right. I don't want to make the video to be uh, unnecessarily long. Anyone that you've seen that you know that is available in your country please let me know in the comment section below okay i've done this 
I've also done this. This is chocolate. Look at that. Here we call this one a brown pizza. We have two major companies that produce uh, our chocolate in Nigeria. We have brown pizza and we have melon. So this is our brown pizza. And now <clears throat> let me add water. I'm supposed to use our uh, milk. But I just discovered this morning that we are out of uh, powder milk. So, what I've been seeing in movies is that uh, uh, the British, I don't know if the Americans uh, do the same, is that uh, once they make a uh, tea like this now, they'll not be dipping, they'll be dipping biscuits in it and, and they'll be eating it. No. <laughs> that is very, very strange to us here. The closest one that we do is by dissolving the biscuit we dissolve the biscuit inside the inside the tea this is how we do our we dissolve it okay so you allow everything to mix together aha uh -huh. so this is how I love enjoying my once everything is mixed together everything is mixed together then I can, I can enjoy it. This video is probably sponsored by Mr. Mike, my other patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate that. Hmm. All right, that's about the biscuit affordable ones that I was able to get. Now, if you have any question, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll surely respond to your question and again to my patrons thank you so much for the support i really appreciate it. especially mr mike atomic a very wonderful man is mr mike is one of the most important people in my life i see him as part of my family thank you so much mr mike may god continue to be with you thank you see you next time